That's why making a joyful noise is what the Word says to do. You can make a joyful noise. Don't wait on your neighbor or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. You can make a joyful noise because the sound of heaven is born on the inside of you. I said the sound of heaven, not the sound of earth. There's no defeat in heaven. There is no darkness in heaven. There's no down times in heaven because you've been made with the sound of heaven burning on the inside of you. You hear me? It ain't right if the devil can steal your sound. Because God created you to sound in his honor. Amen? All right. So now we'll go. Turn to Psalms 47. I know I probably better hurry up. Yeah, you're there, man. I got the wrong mic. Be in stereo. Oh, yeah. Is this the one I should be using? Thank you very much. You know, do you know why God created instruments? Well, you are an instrument, right? Something happens if I say, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He's upon me to preach the gospel to the meek, to set at liberty them that are bound. up in a, a museum. You could be in a mausoleum. It'll never make a sound by itself. Neither will your body. The sound of that isn't there. That amplifies what's in me. The sound of praise. It's not the clapping of the hands. It's like shooting a blank gun. If you don't have the word in your life, you have no bullets in your praise. I say it again. If you don't have the word in your life, you can clap all night. It ain't going to change your world. But when you got the word and you began to fire with faith-filled sounds, faith-filled sounds will put you over, fearful sounds will keep you down. Watch this. Now stop for a minute. Brother, you're great. Stop. Now watch. The atmosphere calls for sounds that are made in God's honor. No matter how great the word is that Darlene might preach or Rod might preach, if you don't take charge over the sounds in your atmosphere, you will only have life support when you hear the sermon. But if you take that into you and you place a demand in your world for sounds that are true, pure, honest, lovely, of a good report, if there's any virtue, if there's any praise, that's the only sounds I allow in my world. When that begins to happen, you begin to live in the high places because sounds either propel you up or propel you down. Woo! Okay, Psalms 47 says, I 
<laughs> okay. It's here somewhere. God is gone up with a shout. Now that's King James. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. The brass is the only instrument Lucifer can't play because it's reserved for God to announce the King of Kings. The brass is the signature sound of royalty. Get ready. God in the Amplified, which is my favorite translation because God likes it loud. God has ascended amid or in the middle of a shout. What is the middle of a shout? Ah! What's in the middle of that? That's life energy. The closer you get to dying, the smaller the shout. Dead men nor dead Christians shout. God has ascended amid shouting the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. To a pilot, ascent clearance is the clearance to climb higher. When you understand the power of the shout to propel you, it lives in both worlds. God shows up. He cannot stay away from sounds made in his honor. Just make a joyful noise for a minute. Come on, make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Now, wait a minute. Now, don't make a joyful noise just because I said to. Make a joyful noise because you're believing God to deliver you in the greatest challenge of your life. Make that sound and then receive, 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 receive. In the middle of the shout, God has taken off in your world, in your battle. Do you hear me?